Hey guys, I'm Bradley Hasemeyer, and this is the Honda Rugged Roads Project. It represents the next iteration in Honda's commitment to off-road adventuring. It's very exciting, and it looks really cool. To learn a little bit more about it, I brought my friend Matt from Honda PR. Thanks for being here, Matt. Thank you, Bradley. All right, so this is a Passport Trail Sport that's fully decked out. That's so talk right. to me about what we've got here. Yeah, sure. So this is the 22 model uh, Honda Rugged Roads Project. It's going to be the future vision of what, what we're carrying uh, across our rugged vehicle direction for our light duty trucks and SUV. We're going to show some of the future intentions of Trail Sport on this vehicle today, as well as show some really cool things that we did when we worked with John DZ Adventuring. So the 2019 Passport was a hit, but what we're going to show you today for the 22 model Passport is really going to excite customers and the first thing that they're going to see is the new front end styling from the a pillars forward there's new sheet metal new fenders a new hood yeah i and, love this new hood and then the bold front styling with the big grill really represents that off-road rugged feeling and look as well all right so i love the new front end styling it echoes some of the ruggedness that you were talking about what about here in the back yeah for sure so we didn't stop at the front we brought it all the way to the back too Customers are gonna get a new uh, restyled rear bumper and restyled dual exhaust tips as well. And the exhaust tips are more circular, but they really represent that more performance look too. It's great. All right, so one of the first things I notice about this Passport is there's a Trail Sport badge on the front. Tell me about that. Yeah, good eye. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Trail Sport represents 50 plus years of Honda's off-road rugged capabilities from our motorcycles, ATVs, and side-by-sides. and the Trail Sport, which will be first introduced on the 22 model Passport, advances our rugged direction in the off-road category. I've also noticed that there's a really cool orange to it. it seems like kind of a signature color. The orange color uh, applies to the Trail Sport Edition. Uh, you'll see some of the orange coloring uh, very subtle on the interior of the vehicle. First thing the customer will be met with is the Trail Sport signature embroidered on the headrest, some orange stitching on the seats, the steering wheel throughout the rear cabin. We also have some Trail Sport branded rubber mats. Console materials are slightly updated for easier cleaning. So when the driver's out on the weekend, trekking in the wild or overlanding, bringing all the dirt in, it's kind of easier to wash down and clean up. To uh, reinforce some of the adventurous feeling of it, um, we did apply some additional styling for the Trail Sport. Um, you'll notice some of the uh, inlay on the grill as well as the uh, skid garnish and the roof rails are painted pewter finish as well as the wheels, which will be unique to Trail Sport. So I love what I'm looking at here. Essentially, this is a project car, right? That is correct, Bradley. So we call this the Honda Rugged Roads Project Vehicle, and this represents the future direction of where we're taking Trail Sport for future models to come. We wanted to highlight some of the future capabilities and features that will come to the Trail Sport models. Okay. Um, and one of the things that we wanted to show off was the front recovery points. Cool. Um, these were designed and developed and fabricated in-house with our Honda R&D engineers. We also painted it the signature Trail Sport color orange, which is kind of nice. Yeah. Uh, additionally, we developed in-house and made the front skid plates it's made of three millimeter high strength steel. So when you're overlanding or traversing certain terrains, the last thing you want is a rock puncturing any of those important things for you to get back home safely. Yeah. And as you can see here, we have increased ground clearance. Um, additionally, with the more aggressive tires you'll see on here, customers will be able to apply the HPD post-production parts on the vehicle. So as you can see here, we have the uh, fender flares and the signature black HPD wheels. And then I see uh, something giant on top of the vehicle. We wanted to create a very authentic build. So we've worked with John DZ Adventuring. He is a 19 model year Honda Passport owner. Uh, he does this on the weekend. Right, right. We tapped him to get some guidance on like, how will we create a very authentic overlanding build? What are the things that you need? So a lot of the applications that apply for the future trail sport features that I showed, you also have the full size spare wheel in the back here. And with this particular uh, swing carrier, there's a table built in. So I love you, that, that's so smart. Yeah, so when you get to your campsite, you could pull it out, you could cook on top, you can eat off of it, which is kind of neat. And then the roof nest on here, so we do have a rooftop tent. So 
when you're traveling hundreds of miles to get to your destination, the last thing you want to do is have another. You're out there with all the poles and you're exhausted and you're like, no. Years. Exactly. So you just pop that thing up, ladder falls out, and then you got your little home for the uh, weekend um, on your uh, overlanding trip. Dude, you guys knocked it out of the park on this project. I love the way it looks. Thank you. Um, it's been a long day though, if you don't mind. I'm gonna go test out that rooftop tent. Just watch out for the rattlesnakes. What?